Hi, this is Brandi Guthrie, coming to you for the final time as your ABOR president. As we close out 2017, it's important to take a moment to reflect on our accomplishments and difficulties from the past year. While aspects were challenging, we were not alone, not within the association realm, nor on a local, state, national, or even global level. There has been uncertainty and unrest in this year's climate that brought on fear, conspiracy, and doubt. We have seen devastation and catastrophic loss from floods to fires, but it's not all doom and gloom. 2017 had some great achievements we can all be proud of. I'm here to share with you that your association is strong, financially, in its leadership, and with our staff who supports you day in and day out. Our successes were so many in 2017 that I can't even list them here. But to give you an idea of what was accomplished, we opened a new location in South Austin to better serve our members, hosted NAR's 2018 president, Elizabeth Mendenhall. We introduced Matrix 7.0 and the new client portal. We went to the Capitol to host Hill visits. We continued to influence the rewrite of the land development code with Code Next. We will be launching a list track, a new tool to promote your global business. We donated time and funds to disaster relief efforts including direct aid to the Puerto Rico and Beaumont associations. A lot of work was done in transparency and member communication, including live streaming every board meeting, which will begin in January. To see a fuller, but even still incomplete list, read the description below this video. And if you'd like to learn more about any of our great successes, reach out to president at abor.com. It's true, our CEO will be leaving at the end of this year. But while a national search is conducted, we are in great hands with Emily Chenevere serving as our interim CEO. Your board will continue to explore new opportunities to communicate with you, to bring you industry best educational offerings, to provide the tools and services you need day to day, and to protect our industry. While this body saw fit to take action that was necessary at the time, 2018 is the time to move past those issues and move forward. Our focus, as always, remains on providing the service and programming our members expect. Because the truth is, we care. We come at these positions of servant leadership with a giving heart and true passion for each and every one of you. From this place of service, there's an understanding that we are stronger together than apart. As your colleagues in the field, we understand what challenges there are. Going forward, I hope you will always seek first to understand by asking questions, getting involved, and participating directly. This organization exists because of its members, because of you. I want to thank you for this opportunity. I'm grateful to have served on your behalf. I wish you all a wonderful holiday season and a happy and prosperous new year. Thank you.